Hi, I'm Mark Vincent, a partner at Shelston IP. Uh, I'm talking today about the misuse of images on the internet and what remedies you might get uh, from the point of view of an intellectual property lawyer. Sometimes images which are taken in an innocent setting uh, can be misused and can go viral on the internet and can become quite embarrassing. Uh, what happens when your image becomes the next big thing on the internet and you want it taken down? Well, there are a couple of remedies which you have uh, under, under our laws here in Australia. Uh, one is uh, the law of copyright and if you own an image you can write to the online providers who are misusing your internet and you can have the image taken down for copyright infringement. Uh, most of the big blog and internet sites uh, originate in America where the takedown schemes are required by law. The internet intermediaries get uh, a safe harbour um, from the infringing activities of their members if they have a good and effective takedown scheme. Those takedown schemes uh, are also implemented in Australia and it's a relatively easy process to have your copyright image taken down off those websites. Another remedy you have where your image is misused on the internet is a remedy of defamation. Now if your image is used in an out of context or with text that brings you uh, into ridicule or damages your reputation or causes people to think less of you, there is a remedy uh, to, to have the uh, image taken down and to get an apology uh, and in serious cases damages. Uh, so defamation is a remedy for misuse of images on the internet. Okay, one thing to be careful of when you're thinking defamation uh, is, uh, is, the, is what's said about me the truth? Think back to the uh, David Gingell and uh, James Packer fight in the streets of Bondi. Many of those images are not flattering and they do damage the reputation of the men involved. Uh, but it, it wouldn't be the case to say that they are defamatory images because they're accurate pictures of what actually happened. And truth is a defence to defamation. Now the final uh, topic is where uh, images are taken in a personal or private setting, perhaps in a relationship, and they're misused even after that relationship ends. Uh, now, many people think, that's my private information, how can you put it on the internet? And they feel our privacy laws in Australia should cover the misuse of those private images. Now, unfortunately, we have no tort of privacy, and we have no privacy remedy that will help in those scenarios. The only legal remedy is misuse of confidential information. Uh, and that can sometimes be of use where a personal image uh, has been used on the internet. My parting advice if you're worried about use of images on the internet uh, is that you fundamentally can't control what happens to your image once it's gone viral or once there's a story about your image. In fact, trying to take action to stop use of your image could become the story. There was a well-known case in the US where Barbara Streisand uh, sought injunctions to stop aerial photographs of her house being used. At the time she sought the injunctions, about six or seven people had looked at the photograph. By the time the case had gone public, hundreds of thousands of people had downloaded the photograph. It's become what's known as the Streisand effect. Be careful uh, what complaints you make or the problem will get worse. If your image goes viral and it's embarrassing you, my advice, take a holiday. The attention span of the internet is short and chances are it won't be tomorrow's story the way it is today's story. If you then want to have images permanently removed, go and see a lawyer or start the takedown process. Thank you.